Well, the costumes in this thing were fun. Weren't they fun? I'm trying to imagine the, the first time you are trying them on. <laughs> What is all of this? I was so jet lagged, I had no idea what was going on. I just stood there with my arms out, and Could someone had to prop well. me up and, and uh, make sure I didn't fall over. I was so tired. Oh, great. Excellent, okay. Well, Olivia Williams, when you make a feature film debut in America, you do it with a splash, I gotta tell you. <laughs> this wasn't a choice. I had no choice in the matter. But could you have chosen, wow, could you have chosen anything more significant, huh? I mean, no, I big? don't think I could. Um, I'm very lucky because at the time, uh, I don't think anybody would turn down the opportunity to work with Kevin or to work in this country in the industry that you do so well. And I am just you know, blessed, but uh, it was such a good role, because frankly I'd have taken anything at the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, in spite of your really prodigious background in Shakespearean theatre especially, which I'd like to get to in a minute, mm -hmm. nonetheless there must have been a moment in time, let's do a freeze frame here, where mm -hmm. you're standing there in the middle of a sand pit or something, surrounded by thousands of milling extras mm -hmm. going, what happened? How did this <laughs> come about? I, do, I did have to really work very hard not, not to do that because, you know, I, I had a job to do and I had to concentrate on developing the character and, and not wasting other people's time. And, and uh, you know, I really did have to make myself concentrate and not let it phase me. Isn't it an interesting and, I think, wonderful irony? A lot of Shakespearean background with the RSC, mm. with Ian McKellen, no mm -hmm. less, etc. You come to America and now you've got Henry V. <laughs> right? I yeah, mean, it's in there. <laughs> you had no inkling of that, I assume. No, well, I was pleased to see when I read the uh, script on the way over in the airplane to see that <laughs> the Bard made an appearance in this movie. But it was nothing to do with me, I assure you. Yeah, but nonetheless, <laughs> the idea of the of the hero having greatness thrust upon him, mm -hmm. like Hal. And, Indeed. You no, know, it's kind of yeah, nice. Uh, talk to me, though, about your theater experience. Uh, do you always have in the back of your mind uh, the cinematic next step, or were you quite happy with your Shakespearean work? Um, that's to kind of, um, I don't mean to be rude, but to misunderstand the nature of being a, an actor. Mm -hmm. y you take whatever comes along. I mean, I, I wanted to do theatre, and one of the reasons I became an actor was to act out the plays I'd studied at university. But, you know, when you're actually trying to do it for a living, you, you do what you're given, and you're grateful to have, to have work. But certainly, I would guess you got the kind of tools that you will need and can use henceforth. Yes, and, and I want to go where the good work is, and if it's back in theatre, I will go there if the roles appeal and, and if, it, if the good work is in film I go there. I mean uh, I got offered a, fil a film part that I'm working on now and the script just kind of leapt out of the page at me and the part is wonderful and uh, and so that's what I'm doing next but I, I, I'm not choosing I haven't deserted theatre or chosen sure. I wasn't I didn't choose to do film it, it it chose me and yeah. uh, well to quote the bard again I mean <laughs> there is a tide is this one of those moments that you're gonna look back upon years to come do you think I don't know I can't get any perspective on it at the moment it's still it's still happening it's you know I, I still haven't had a chance to, to step back uh, at all and, and contemplate what's happened or what's going to happen well let's indulge ourselves for a few seconds in a wish list what do you want to have happen do you want to stay in this country and work? Or? I want to find good work. It's very, mm -hmm. very simple and very boring answer. I, 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 what I love about this movie is that it has given me access and, and the opportunity to go, do good work. And um, that is what's most frustrating as an actor is that, that most good actors, I think, aren't given to the opportunity to fulfill their potential. And if I have that opportunity, I am very lucky and I'm grateful for it. Is this you? Uh, on the run? Uh, yes. No, I'm grieving over the body of my, my dead something, husband. Uh, something truly dramatic has yeah, just happened there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, it's a, it's a very, it, it was one of the most difficult scenes of the movie, uh, actually. Yeah. It's a pleasure to see you, especially at a moment like this. Ah, oh, thank when you. When big things are happening and will continue. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm John Tibbetts with Olivia Williams in Los Angeles, and I'm with KCTV5.